Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. This is episode 184, and I just want to say thank you guys, uh, because this is something you guys sent me, although, to be fair, um, I did wake up the other morning and I was like, you know what I haven't checked in a while is the Venom IMDB. And uh, there's a couple reasons for that, but obviously I was like, yeah, they're still probably working out some post credits and, you know, and things like that, but they might still slip in a few surprises, and obviously if they do, it's worth talking about. It, you know, obviously these aren't things that we should really hold true, and they may be things that could be cut from the film, or they could be things that are just incorrect, because, you know, IMDb can be edited uh, by more, you know, more than just agents and actors and everything like that. It can be edited by other people who have, like, pro accounts and have access to this stuff. So we have to, you know, kind of be wary of what we read here, but I still find this stuff interesting and it does definitely help have content and uh, give us possibilities. And sometimes they do get stuff right, especially in the stunt department or background department and things like that. It's fun to go through and see who's working on what and find out what other work they've worked on and see if, you know, like we could maybe gleam some kind of, uh, you know, like, you know, what could they be doing in Venom, I guess. Uh, and so in this case, you know, we want to talk, I want to talk a little bit about uncredited actors for movies. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why uh, actors could get, you know, not put in as credit. Uh, there's a couple things, you know, they could be doing a favor to the director, they could be a friend, you know, it's like sometimes people are like, hey, I'm directing a movie, I need some extras, where you just come into the scene, you don't have a speaking line, so you're just going to be in the background, but we're not going to put your name in the credits of the movie, because either you're not getting paid a certain amount that SAG, uh, you know, the Actors Guild would recognize, or, um, or, you know, you're just starting to build your resume or something like that, and we just have you in the background. Like, there's a, there's a lot of reasons uh, that, that it could be for an actor to not get credit or listed as uncredited in a movie. And, of course, there's a lot in Venom. There's, like, a tech girl, a doctor, a San Francisco tourist, um, pedestrian. There's a lot of people listed in here uncredited, which means uh, they may have a part in the movie, but they're just not either big enough yet to get a credit or, like I said, didn't fit some kind of requirement or aren't getting paid a certain amount or, you know, whatever. Um, but they're starting to build their careers or their resumes and so they're putting themselves on IMDb like, hey, I was an extra in this or I was, I had a small part, I walked by the camera and, you know, and whether they use it in the movie or not, I'm still going to put it on my IMDb account. So that's where this comes from, a lot of this. Uh, so sometimes I ignore these, but there are sometimes interesting things to talk about in here. And I caught one, and then within like 15, 20 minutes, you guys actually caught it too. So I want to thank you guys for just being out there and, you know, being on top of the IMDb and checking it out. And, you know, uh, you know, anytime you see something, you send it to me. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, but this time I actually found it myself. Uh, the morning that it was posted, and uh, and this is for uh, an actress or actor named Sarah Taylor, and uh, and hopefully I'm saying their name right. And Sarah is listed as an NYC subway passenger, and that's really interesting because obviously we know this movie was filmed in Atlanta, but it's set in San Francisco. Uh, we haven't heard any NYC connections, but I know a lot of you guys had theories, like fan theories, that maybe the opening of this movie might take place in New York and set up Eddie Brock moving back home to San Francisco, or maybe the ending has something to do with New York and kind of ties into the ending somehow. Um, so I just find this interesting because we also haven't even seen um, a shot in the trailer with a subway at all because in, in San Francisco, although there's some, some different modes of transportation in San Francisco, a lot of times you think of trolleys and above ground transportation, um, even though there is a nice subway system in San Francisco that I've been on a couple times. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, could be a mistake, could be NYC could be mistaken, um, or maybe they were told in the scene, you know, this might take place in New York. So when they updated their resume, they just put NYC subway passenger. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons. For all we know, they're not even a subway passenger at all. But this is the first time we're seeing subway passenger listed. We've seen villagers, we've seen, um, you know, like uh, trolley car people, pedestrians, uh, but now we're seeing a subway passenger. So it could give us a glimpse that maybe there's a scene that takes place underground. Um, maybe it's just a random shot, you know, just like, oh, this is, you know, life in the city or something like that. It could just be like with some voiceover, it could have nothing to do with the major plot. Who knows? Uh, but you guys did catch it and bring it to my attention too. And so I figured, well, why not make a quick video about it? I haven't finished reading Venom vs. Carnage yet, so that'll be our Friday video. I'll try to read that on my day off, which is tomorrow, Thursday, and I'll post that video up on Friday. But it's just nice to not talk about the comic so much. We did like two and a half weeks straight of comic discussions, so it's nice to have something to talk about for the movie. So I wanted to bring this to your attention. You know, uh, obviously, you know, don't go too crazy with theories. You know, again, this could just be nothing, uh, but it is kind of neat. So if you have an opinion on this, um, or if you have a hope 
why don't you put that down below? Because chances are this may not have anything to do with the movie overall, and it may just be a typo or it could be a number of different things, uh, but it's still kind of interesting, and I thought I should bring it up and make a video of it, especially since some of you wrote me and were interested in, uh, in that. And then I thought I could tie in the fact that why people are uncredited in movies so like you know give you a little bit of background on that um, and, and and a reason why that they might be uncredited so again that's all I got today just something quick and simple but hopefully you guys dig it and, uh, and hopefully you have a hope or a theory on that uh, but let's not go too too crazy and whatever it is let me know down in the comments below and thank you guys so much for supporting my trailer reaction for the Bumblebee movie that got over 2,500 views so chances are I'm going to do a, at least a little bit more Transformer content coming up because that was what my channel started as my first video ever on YouTube was a Transformer video and I've been meaning to go back to that world and I just haven't had time but I will try my best to squeeze in a video every now and again for you Transformer fans that are out there that stayed subscribed to this channel so thank you very much and everyone else for Venom Vlog obviously we'll have another episode on Friday so be ready for that I'll talk about Venom versus Carnage and if any more movie news pops up I'll make two videos on Friday and we'll talk about it then thanks so much for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future peace